First of all, congratulations on a wonderful, wonderful IT movie. I was scared out of my wits. And I wanted to ask you guys, though, what, how important is the comedy to making great horror? Because I laughed more than I expected. <laughs> um, I think it depends on the film. I mean, some great horror films have comedy, and some are quite dramatic. Um, so I don't know that it's important to the horror genre, but like, especially when you had chapter one, um, and it was so funny and um, humanizing, I think you couldn't expect anything else but have that kind of humor in, in chapter two. Yeah, absolutely. And your character especially, I was really moved at the way um, bullying almost mm -hmm. played a sort of a, had a character of its own. Can mm -hmm. you talk a little bit about that and what you brought to the film? To yeah, I mean for Ben he was obviously bullied as a child and I connected with that and, and thought Jeremy Ray Taylor's performance was very poignant in, um, in, in that kind of realm. So for Ben, as he, as he becomes an adult to so the outside world, he now seems like the perfect, you know, he has the perfect life. He's very successful, he's an architect, um, you know, he seems to have it all, but really it seems that he's become his own bully now. He beats himself up inside. So I wanted to take that more internally um, and spread that through this part of the film. For, the, in, there's, a, in terms of beating, you talked about beating yourself up. Uh, your character escapes, you know, some, without giving too much of the film away, escapes uh, some pretty awful abusive situation. It can, did, can you talk about how you may have used that to fight back it, or in the rest of the film? Yeah. Um, so Beverly is someone that from the moment she learned what love is, she thought it was something that was painful and tormented and difficult because the only love she'd ever known was from her father and that was a very abusive relationship and for the past 27 years she continues that cycle of abuse as many people often do and through the journey of this film she discovered what actually love is truly supposed to be uh, but it take it's a big journey for her I mean she really has she's confronted by her greatest fears of like you know in the first film we we discover Bev um, is becoming a woman and the idea of what does it mean to become a woman um, in terms of growing into your body, but also um, in terms of her with her father, with are you still my little girl, and you know, all of that. And so uh, you see her experience that as she goes back to Derry. Thanks so much for your time. Amazing film, so much fun. And we'll be telling everyone to go see it on September 6th. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you.